Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Sunday School. It's Mrs. Story, and I'm so glad you're joining us this week. And I will read a story to you today about running away. It's the story of the lost son, and it comes to us from the Bible, Luke 15. Jesus told this story about a boy who ran away. Once upon a time, there was a boy and his dad. Now, one day, the boy gets to thinking, Maybe if I didn't have my dad around telling me what is good for me all the time, I'd be happier. He's spoiling my fun, he thinks. Does my dad really want me to be happy? Does my dad really love me? The son never thought of that before, but suddenly he doesn't know anymore. So the son goes to his father and says, Dad, I'm better off without you. I can look after myself. Just give me my share of your money. His father is sad but he won't force his boy to stay. So he gives his son what he wants. The son takes the money and goes on a long, long journey to a far off country. And everything's wonderful and perfect for a while. He can go wherever he wants, do whatever he wants, be whoever he wants. He is the boss, he is free. Sometimes he gets a strange, hungry, homesick feeling inside his heart but then he just eats more or drinks more or buys more clothes or goes to more parties until it goes away. But soon his money runs out and so do his friends. He ends up getting the only job he can find, feeding pigs. One day he is so hungry and so desperate, he even tries some piggy food. What am I doing? He says suddenly, as if he has woken from a nightmare. He spits, yuck all of it ick, out of his mouth. My father is rich and here I am in a pigsty eating piggy food. He wipes his mouth and dusts himself off. I'm going home. As he starts for home though, he begins to worry. Dad won't love me anymore. I've been too bad. He won't want me for his son anymore. So he practices his I'm sorry speech. All this time, what he doesn't know is that day after day, his dad has been standing on his porch, straining his eyes, looking into the distance, waiting for his son to come home. He just can't stop loving him. He longs for the sound of his boy's voice. He can't be happy until he gets him back. The son is still a long way off, but his dad sees him coming. What will the dad do? Fold his arms and frown? Shout, that'll teach you. And just you wait, young man. 
No, that's not how this story goes. The dad leaps off the porch, races down the hill, through the gap in the hedge, up the road. Before his son can even begin his I'm sorry speech, his dad runs to him, throws his arms around him, and can't stop kissing him. Let's have a party, his dad shouts. My boy's home. He ran away. I lost him, but now I have him back. Jesus told them, God is like the dad who couldn't stop loving his boy. And people are like the son who said, does my dad really want me to be happy? Jesus told people this story to show them what God is like and to show people what they are like. So they could know however far they ran, however well they hid, however lost they were, it wouldn't matter because God's children could never run too far or be too lost for God to find them. What a very encouraging story. You know, when I was a little girl, maybe the same age as you are now, my big sister got really mad at my mom and dad. I don't remember why, but she was angry and she decided she was gonna run away, just like the boy in this story. She decided to take me, her little sister, with her, and she packed up a little suitcase full of toys, and she grabbed me by the hand, and we marched down our street. We didn't get too far, though, because when we got to the end of the street, we knew we weren't allowed to cross the road without our parents. So we turned around, and we went back. And you know what? Our mom and dad were there happily waiting for us, and they weren't angry with us, and they gave us a big hug and welcomed us back. Just like the father did in this story, and just like God does for each and every one of us. He won't get angry if you mess up. He'll be happy to have you come back into his arms. And what a great comfort that is for all of us. No matter how angry we get or how badly we make a mistake, God is always there to welcome us back into his arms. Let's pray together to thank God for always being there for us. Dear God, thank you so much for always being there for us and loving us and welcoming us back every time into your loving arms. Thank you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wishing all of you a wonderful week and looking forward to seeing you again real soon. Hello, everyone. Today, let's sing, Lord, I lift your name on high. The rest of the words continue, Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. And then the chorus goes, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad. Thank you.
great week, everyone. Bye.